Initially, this was going to be a video update on how SRT was doing. Those of you that don't know what SRT is, SRT or Special Response Team is a story driven SWAT game that follows the story of a Brad Taylor in the town of Ridgeview. It follows him as he goes through things that could be traumatizing. This is a game that takes a lot of elements from SWAT 4 but adds on to it. That's basically the gist of the game. I was going to talk about how there was cool new props, there was updates, and how the game had added a new talented developer to the roster, which that new developer fairly recently did a stream where he was in the Unreal Editor fiddling with the components to make it so that you were able to drop out of a helicopter. That, or call him Backup AI. I was also going to say where the AI was at, meaning how smart they were. Talk about how the movement system as it stood in that stream was very reminiscent of World War 3's movement system, which is actually not that bad considering they literally started production early this year. So the movement system was actually coming along nicely. I had the audio for the update video ready to go and I was about to start editing it, but then one of the developers had reached out to me and said that there was infighting going on. Okay, maybe that's not the right word. From what I understand, SRT was having a bit of a identity crisis. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, the new developer that had been brought on, same guy that was in the stream, had some concerns that they were just copying Ready or Not. Not literally copying the game, like it's the exact same, but the idea of making a SWAT game, he basically thinks that the idea is already taken, from what I understand is his perspective. So because of this line of thought, just as quickly as he became a developer, he stepped down. And from reading the conversations that were sent to me, it didn't seem like he was on bad terms with the developers. It looked like he actually liked what he was doing, but it was as if he had seen the writing on the wall, like Void Interactive's Ready or Not would somehow overtake the project, and that is the reason why he backed out. Okay, but what does one developer have to do with the project being halted? Well, after the developer had left, the rest of the team had a conversation about maybe turning SRT into an all new project altogether. Like instead of doing a SWAT game, maybe we do like like a patrol officer game or something else. But other developers had argued that that would be a bad idea because they had done so much work on this project already. Why would they just, you know, throw it out and scrap it? This conversation ignited a lot of emotions that the developers were keeping deep down while they were working on this project. There were key developers that were not very passionate about this project. I had already known about this, but I didn't say anything because, you know, I thought that they had worked this out, but obviously not. But earlier this year, I was talking to one of the developers and they had said that their key developer went on hiatus and they were worried that he wouldn't come back because not only was he a key developer, but he wasn't very passionate about the project. So they were worried that he wouldn't come back, but eventually he did and the project did continue until now. As I speak, about four to five developers have left SRT, citing that they were either too stressed to move forward or that they just didn't have any passion for the project. This is why SRT has been halted. Although halted indefinitely, I do not know, but there's not a whole lot of developers left to really continue the project, so it might be indefinitely. Even Brian Watts, the guy that was the most enthusiastic about it, seems to not really care anymore. So if anything happens with SRT, I guess I'll cover it, but the future of this game is just looking bleak. So what are my thoughts on this? Well, I think this is a very sad day for the SWAT community. This is the second game that I have covered that's quite literally died off. The first one was Blister and now SRT. You know, I really don't buy the idea that SRT is just a copy of Ron. From everything that I've seen, SRT was its own thing. Like I felt that SRT took a louder approach to a SWAT game. Case in point. And Red or Not is more of a quieter, calm approach. Hands up. 
SRT has cutscenes, whereas Ready or Not does not. Ready or Not isn't in your face when it comes to story, it's environmental storytelling. If you're paying enough attention, you will hopefully see what's actually going on. Whereas SRT, they would actually have cutscenes about what's actually going on. So major difference there. Again, SRT is a story focused SWAT game and Ready or Not would not be too story focused. Not as in depth as SRT would be. So yeah, I just don't agree with that like at all. Sure, they're similar, but they're not the same game. But I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter now because because if you're not passionate about the project, if you feel like the game is just stressing you out too much, then either quit or take a break, you know? I don't want to force developers to not do something that they're not proud of. It just really sucks because I would have loved to have added another game to my collection. I say collection as if I have a bunch of them. My only SWAT game is SWAT 4. Maybe there's more out there, but I, I haven't seen much. So I guess my only SWAT game now that I'm looking forward to is Ready or Not. <laughs> Not that I don't like it, it's just that I would have loved to have had another SWAT game to play with, you know? You know the one thing that I envied about SRT? It's the fact of how transparent they have been. Even in the end, when they dropped this on me. If anything, Ron should take note of that. And before you call this game a scam, it isn't. Because in order for it to be considered a scam, we would have had to have given some sort of money to them, which we did not. So I just wanted to clarify that before anybody gets any ideas. But what are you gonna do? I wanna wish the developers luck. I hope they find jobs at another department, you know, doing something they like. For whoever's left of the SRT crew, I hope you guys stick with the project, but I honestly don't know if there's anybody even left. So yeah, that was my video. I guess I'm gonna clock it out here. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.